What's up guys, I'm Jason here. Yes, I'm here again in Gamuda Cove and I'm going to show you guys the another type of layout of Gamuda Cove project. Let's go. People know Gamuda Cove as in their water theme park, Splash Mania, or Baya Inda Discovery Wetland, or even some people know them because of their housing development here. And because this is a property channel, of course, I'm going to show you guys the property over here. So my previous project was about the Type D 26 times 65, and today I'm going to show you guys the Type Type F 34 times 60. So now I'm right in front of the show unit and actually this facade are not uh, the latest one lah. This one are the previous project but actually the layout are similar so they do it as a, a show unit for the current current project lah. So the size of the house is 34 and 60. Car Porsche 21, around 21 feet and then the very unique thing is their main door will be on the side here. Before going into the house, we will pass by this something like a garden, Zen garden because the concept of this house are actually Japanese Zen style concept. So the foyer will be here and then main door. After entering the house, here we will have a very big space for you to do a full high shoe cabinet or you want to do for prayer table also no problem because here is a very very big space here. Moving on, here will be the dining table and then there's an island here. Kitchen will be on behind. And here there has a hidden door for you to uh, go for the guest room. And then there's a maid's room and then also the sharing bathroom also inside. For the living area here, this will be the very very special thing. Because this is a double volume of ceiling height. Wow, wow, wow. As we can see, living area actually are very, very big. L-shaped sofa, you want to put one more over there also, no problem. TV, and then here will be all the windows. But this one, because it's an end lot corner lah. So here there's a sliding door, but if normal intermediate, here will be piece of wall, but in front there, you have a big piece of window. But it's okay lah, since there's a double volume of the ceiling height, then the natural sunlight actually are very, very nice. Before moving to the kitchen, let's have a look behind this hidden door first. Because this is show unit, so of course this will be the interior design. Lah. If it's an actual unit, then this uh, there's no, no hidden door here. Directly you can access to the uh, guest room one. This is just for the ID. Behind the hidden door here will be the guest room, maid's room and then the bathroom. So for this uh, guest room, wow. They, for the ID, they do it like a, a place for you to yam cha yam cha la. But this space actually is big enough for you to put a queen size bed, wardrobe and all the stuff. This are the maid's room. Or you want to do it like storeroom, also can. And then moving on to the sharing bathroom. Toilet bowl, basin, shower head, not the mirror. Here, everything are provided except the mirror. And then you can see here, we also have a space for you to put all the shampoo. And now, we go for the kitchen. So the dining table here, six-seater, good enough. An island table for you to prepare your breakfast, drink some coffee over there. Oven, fridge, you can do like this. Put it over here for the kitchen. Yes, left and right. So the induction on the left, the basin will be on the right. Behind the door will be our gut area. So we can put washing machine there and do all the laundry here. Lah. Now let's move to the first floor. Uh, before that, I'm still very impressed by this living area to be honest. Because of the uh, double volume of ceiling, you can feel like how to say, it's very, very spacious, very, very big, and you can see all the natural sunlight coming in. Just feel like 
a bungalow style of house lah. Although this is a superling house, but you still get the luxurious of house. Now let's have a look for the upstairs. Okay, so now I'm at the first floor. All the flooring here will be using the same timber flooring. The first thing here will be a family area or study corner, master bedroom, bedroom three and bedroom two. The bedroom two here is a long size bedroom. It's very long and they do it as a kids bedroom, the double decker, wardrobe, sofa and then some small table. That's very cute. So for this room, because it's long size, actually there's no problem lah for you to put a queen size bed or even king size and then the wardrobe here and then on the right hand side will be the sharing bathroom uh, this bathroom are shared by the bedroom 3 and then the bedroom 2 lah share together also the same basin toilet bowl shower head are provided and here will be our bedroom 2 so this bedroom 2 will be slightly smaller because it's a square size the another one are uh, long size so here fit queen size bed perfectly and then you can do a wardrobe here tv if you want to put and then a dressing table moving out the bedroom tree here will be our family area so because of this piece of window all the natural sunlight are coming in to the family area so the whole whole house here are very very bright and you can straight away look through to the downstairs. Last but not least, our master bedroom. So master bedroom here, there's a piece of window. You can look to the living area and also natural sunlight. Nice. Walk-in wardrobe, big enough. And then windows again. Natural sunlight again, nice. And the last master bathroom. The same, dollar bowl, basin, shower hair provided, but not the mirror. So I guess this is it for today's house tour about this type of layout. And they still have few types of layout here, but I'm not able to take all the video today because uh, actually this video and also the previous video, I will stoke it at the same day. So yeah, still have some video coming soon maybe. Stay tuned. And if anyone is interested in this unit, please contact the number above, call me or WhatsApp me, and don't, don't, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you, and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.